In this video, we're gonna cover the 10 things you need to know about living in Halifax, covering things like the people, places, things to do, as well as housing and so much more. So stay tuned. Once again, I'm Tom Moore with Remax in Halifax. Enjoy the video. So point number one, let's talk about the people. Now, Halifax is a population of hovering right around 420,000 in the metro area. So kind of Halifax and proper, and then also the little areas that surround it. But we're the second fastest growing city in the country. We're also the largest city in the maritime provinces. So there's four provinces there. And Halifax has just been really growing over the last decade or so. Now, in terms of an immigration hotspot, Halifax is slowly becoming a place for immigrants to settle down. Although our population remains smaller than a lot of the other larger cities throughout Canada. And this continues to change over time as the city continues to grow and attract more people from all over the world. All right, now point number two is the weather. So Halifax has a pretty wide range when it comes to our weather anomalies and weather patterns. In the winter, it can get as low as minus 40 is what we had a couple weeks ago here. And then in the summertime, it can get up to plus 30 or plus 35. So the big thing is that we do experience all seasons here in Halifax. And yes, the winter can be a little bit shorter than what you would see across the rest of the country, but we still do get those extreme uh extreme winter patterns now we occasionally in the fall we'll also get a, a hurricane here or there however usually they're not too serious and we'll maybe lose power for a day or two uh, however with this weather people still remain active throughout the year in the winter they're going out skiing snowshoeing uh, cross-country skiing skating doing all kinds of winter activities and in the spring summer and fall there's all sorts of activities. Obviously, we live by the, the beach and the ocean here, so people like to go to the beach, but there's also lots of hiking, biking, and everything to keep you amused through all those seasons. All right, so for point number three, let's talk about the cost of living in Halifax. Now, Halifax has been really going through changes in terms of its property prices over the last few years. My last check, the property average standalone home was hovering right around 480 490 thousand but that's been fluctuating quite a bit lately so with this pretty drastic increase in home prices in Halifax over the last couple years we're also seeing a reciprocal uh, I guess impact on the rental market so this is something although we do still tend to rank lower than quite a few other Canadian cities, especially on the purchasing side of things. Sometimes on the rental side of things, you may notice that our, our property prices actually begin to creep up when looking at kind of a month to month or uh, year long lease. All right, so for point number four, let's talk about the commute. Now, when it comes to commuting in Halifax, you've got a couple different options. We've got Halifax Transit, which services the city by bus routes that kind of go out all over the place, as well as two ferry routes which service the harbor itself. Um, when you're talking about the actual rush hour, it's it's the traffic has increased over the last couple of years with the growth of the city, but when there's no traffic on the road or basically the hours outside of rush hour, you can basically be quite far away from where you're going within 10 or 15 minutes. Um, but during rush hour, which can start around 3.30 or 4.00, um, in the afternoon and then obviously 7, 7.30, 8 in the morning. Uh, things can get a little bit backed up, but still, even with traffic being backed up, you shouldn't have too much more than a 40 minute, 45 minute commute if you're situated a little bit outside of the city and trying to make it into downtown. All right, so point number five is the education opportunities here. So we have a really good public school system when it comes to kind of grades primary all the way up to 12 but when it comes to post-secondary as well as graduates programs you also have a ton of options here in Halifax. We've got several universities scattered throughout the city as well as a few colleges so whether it's arts, trades, uh, doctor, lawyer, any of the undergraduate programs you're going to find them here. I'm actually on Dalhousie University campus right now which is uh, probably the largest uh, university in the city and in the province. They have uh, dentistry, doctor, lawyer, everything you can really think of right here. So point number six is gonna be staying active. People in Halifax, because we do have winters like the rest of the country, really like to get out there and enjoy the fresh air, enjoy nature when they can. So this includes things like surfing, biking, hiking, uh, and in the winter, skiing, you've got skating, all, all kinds of activities. But the big thing is, is tying in that 
activity and staying active with outdoor activity so that you're getting that fresh air, getting some vitamin D when you can and just staying happy. Okay, so point number seven is gonna be the culture of Halifax. Now, Halifax has always had a friendly, welcoming atmosphere here, but in recent years, we've also begun to kind of get a bit more diverse in terms of the population that's living here with people moving here from all around the world with all kinds of different backgrounds. But in the winter time, we have a mix of kind of this cozy culture as well as this get out and get some fresh air culture. You can experience the cozy culture in the form of very nice restaurants or in the form of kind of cozy, uh, quiet little holes in the walls. Maybe it's a snowy night and you're going in for a beer and some food. Well, however, in the summer, we experience people really trying to get outside, get the most of the weather in the summer and the outdoors that you can. We've got barbecues, very friendly neighbors. And yeah, people just are generally a quite an open culture out here. Okay, so point number eight is going to be our crime rate. Halifax, generally when looking and comparing across Canada, ranks quite low in several metrics when it comes to our crime rate. And if you do move here, you're gonna notice that there's really no areas in Halifax or the surrounding areas that you feel unsafe when you're walking in the day. So, you know, this may change a bit at night, but it's very, very tiny pockets. And realistically, you're not gonna have to deal with crime unless you really go looking for it. So overall, people that live here, that's one of the big things that they really like about the city is that feeling of safety. All right, so point number nine is gonna be the neighborhoods. Now, Halifax has a neighborhood for everybody, whether you're a young professional, new family, somebody with a bit more cash, um, you're gonna be able to choose a neighborhood that fits for you. You're gonna have different price points that vary. You've got restaurants with a lot of neighborhoods, really good walkability. You've got obviously a pretty big downtown core here. And you've got certain neighborhoods that are really close to different shopping amenities. So Halifax, depending on what you're looking for, is going to have it. And uh, yeah, it's just a matter of figuring out what neighborhood is right for you. I'll leave a link to uh, some of my neighborhood spotlights that you can check out as well. All right, point number 10, our final point is going to be the quality of life. This is something that people often talk about, people that have lived here for years and people that move here is the ability to just really have everything you need within a medium sized city. So we've got shopping, we've got great restaurants like the one behind me, the Bicycle Thief, which is really a fan favorite. And then obviously today it's snowing, but in the summertime we have beaches, hikes, bikes, all kinds of different outdoor amenities that people really love to utilize. And in the winter, you can find things to do like snowshoeing, uh, I mentioned some before, skiing, all that kind of stuff. So you've got access to the outdoors. You can be smack dab in the middle of downtown and drive pretty much 20, 25 minutes in any direction. You're at the woods, a lake, or the ocean. So uh, quality of life is definitely something to look forward to moving here. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video on living in Halifax. Once again, I'm Tom Moore with Remax in Halifax. If you're planning on a move, I'd love to help you. If you know of anybody thinking about making a sale, then uh, tell them to reach out as well. I do a lot of video work, obviously. Other than that, don't forget to like and subscribe. We come up with a new video like this every single week. All right, have a great day.